Hello, my beautiful Pisces. Welcome to your bi-weekly love forecast for August 16th to the 29th. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, subscribing, and thank you to all my members. So we're gonna go over the overall love and then advice, and then we're gonna move into the single. So stick with me till the end. Let's jump right in. So let's go to my Pisces romantic love light for August 16th to the 29th. Show my cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Let's go to my Pisces romantic love life. For all the 16 to the 29th, show my cards I need to see. Show my cards I need to see. Okay, let's do one more time here. Pisces romantic love life. Show my cards I need to see. Okay, that feels better. All right, let's go to my Pisces romantic love life for August 16th to the 29th. Let's go to my Pisces Romantic Love Life on the 16th to the 29th. Show my cards I need to see. Show my cards I need to see. Okay, that feels good. All right, let's see what's going on here, Pisces. All right, the King of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. There's a sense of being very logical here, okay? Being logical, taking leadership role here, thinking with your head of your heart. Because there is a bit of a crossroads happening here with the Crossroads card, all right? And four is about stability and stableness and trying to be wise here when, when it comes to that. Uh, so we see the blockage is some things to do with the past energy with the six of cups and uh, this particular person. So there's a person from the past that's coming out as the blockage or the challenge here or the crossing card. Sixes are about healing and recovery here. Um, interesting. So you're trying to be very logical. You're at a crossroads. You need to make a choice. And there's some things going on pertaining to the past. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean an ex. It could just be somebody you had dealt with before. But the past energy is definitely coming up here. At the foundation, they find you very sexy and very attractive here. And they want some kind of movement or change here. They want to travel towards you with the ship card energy. In the past, there was a sense that there was a twin flame soulmate connection with the lover's card energy because of a particular person. So a person, again, is coming out, okay? This twin flame soulmate with this lover's card or choice that has to be made. So at the head of the matter, you're, you're trying to weigh some choices and options. What should I do here? What's going to be the best bet for me on a long-term basis? It's like a lot of juggling going on here with this two of pentacles energy. And there is something to do with stability and stableness here. Or for some of you, this anchor card in a negative sense could be saying that there is like the hangman energy, something stuck and stagnant, and there needs to be some change or movement. And the, the fact that you're trying to make a choice here because of this attraction, uh, it does look like in the past there needed to be a choice with the heart. Let's see what's going on in your future. Okay. This looks like you're gaining the answers that you need with the Ace of Swords energy. You're gaining that clarity and there's going to be some talking and speaking about it. So you're going to hear about it. Okay. You're going to hear about this sooner than you think because we're talking about in the next couple weeks here and this is in the near future. So it looks like this clarity is going to be spoken about. You're going to hear about it, you know. It's going to be some talking and speaking happening here. And we see that the stability and stable is something to do with this person because there's some movement and change because of talking and speaking. And obviously this person is the blockage. Okay, so... How do they see the situation? They, they're, they're, they're feeling hard. They're seeing this heartache. They're really trying to analyze it. You can see they're trying to bring in out more detail here about the situation. They're really trying to uh, put a magnifying glass on this and really get some more detail about what's happening here. Eight is about putting work or effort into in some kind of creative solution here. How do they feel about this? Well, they feel very passionate about you with the Knight of Wands energy. And they're having a sense that they want control here. So they feel this passion for you and they want control around the situation. They're trying to gain the strength or control. And that's why they're really analyzing things. And they're having this sense of heartache here with the Three of Swords energy. Okay, so let's see what's going to be the influence. The Six is healing and recovery because of Eight, putting the work or effort into it. Some kind of action because of a creative solution. What's the influence? They have a sense that they're going to miss an opportunity here with you with Four of Cups energy. And this is a burden and a challenge to them with the cross card energy. So they're going to talk and speak to you so they can gain mental clarity. They feel all this passion towards you. 
there's this, these issues pertaining to the past or this person around the past that's causing these blockages or this challenge here, this, this crossing you, that's crossing you. This talking and speaking is about this person. The strength and the courage is because of the fact that they want more details. This burden and challenge is because of the talking and speaking about a missed opportunity. Okay, before we go on to the outcome here, I am going to look at the advice. Oh my God, good card. Hmm. Okay. So, wow, another sign that came up with the star card energy. Be hopeful about the situation. Okay, stay hopeful about the situation. Be optimistic about the situation. Follow what you're wishing your hope is. Star card energy. Okay. So there's a sense of joy coming out here with the Three of Cups energy, a sense of joy and celebration because of this soulmate connection, this, uh, not the soulmate connection, but this true opportunity of new love, true love, Ace of Cups energy. So a, a true love here. And the reason why is because of this regret about the past. So this regret about the past is coming up. So they feel regretful and they, they want this true love. They feel that you're the love of the lifetime there with that, that, that Ace of Cups energy. And this, this is bringing them, for them, a sense of joy. They want to hang out with you. They want to celebrate with you. Let's see what this cup card is. They may even, will be, this may even be coming through a friendship circle or there's more than one choice or option. What is this Three of Cups energy about? What's this Three of Cups energy? The cards I need to see. Show my cards I need to see. There is options, so yeah, there's more than one choice or option here. And there's this opportunity of true love coming in here, new love, Ace of Cups energy. And then there's this regret about the past, Five of Cups energy. This confusion is causing some big shakeups here with the Tower card energy. It could be very surprising because of something secret or something yet to be known with the High Priestess card energy, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy. There's a, definitely some passion energy here with this King of Wands. And they're wanting to speak that truth and luck, they want luck to be on their side, things to move in their favor. What's this Ace of Cups about? What is this Ace of Cups about? What's this Ace of Cups about? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Love and abundance. There you go. And because of someone who had walked away, Eight of Cups energy, because of an action towards some kind of passion that called arguments and disputes. So Three of Cups is some kind of friendship, celebration, or influence of a friend that was a true love, opportunity of new love, Ace of Cups energy, because of this regret about the past, the sense of loss because of the past. So, wow. Okay, so let's talk about this. I'll come here. For some of you, this is what it looks like to me. There were some uh, this issues coming up pertaining to the past. You went out, you celebrated, or even was, was, was hanging out with a friend here with Three of Cups energy, and through this brought an opportunity of some kind of true love, new love, Ace of Cups energy, because of this regret about the past, Five of Cups energy. Wow, you guys are gonna have an interesting couple weeks. Yeah, let me know in the comments below. Wow, that's very interesting. <laughs> Let's clarify that a little further with the Lenormand, yep. A surprise. This is going to surprise you. Bouquet card energy, some kind of surprise, uh, some kind of attraction, which was a blockage, a delay, or a challenge. Ends or stops. <laughs> yep, ends or stops. There is a surprise coming in for you guys because the blockage, delay, and challenge stops. It stops. This the blockage, delay, and challenge you've been dealing with your romantic love life, it's going to end and stop there because of the surprise. These flowers can be an attraction. They may, it may be a very surprising attraction going on here with the bouquet card because obviously we have the Ace of Cups shows true love. And um, yeah, this regret or the sense of loss pertaining to that past energy ends and stops. And these delays and challenges when it comes to this opportunity of love, is something is definitely surprising coming with that bouquet card. Alrighty, yes, let me know in the comments below. You know I want to hear from you guys. Obviously, that's why Spirit's like, your advice is, look, there's something really good here. Star card energy, there's hope, but there's optimism here. So it's going to be surprising for you this, this next couple weeks. And the mid-monthlies are coming out, so you guys should be able to get more clarity on what's going on 
in the next couple days. So this is gonna be a pretty good couple weeks though. Okay, so let's work on our singles now. What is going on with my singles? Pisces, romantic love life for August 16th to the 29th. Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards you need to see. All right, let's see what's going on here. Okay, so someone finds you very attractive here with this Queen of Wands and you're just radiating, radiating out, uh, radiating, uh, you know, a lot of passionate energy there with that Queen of Wands. The blockage for you guys or what's crossing you is some things to do with the past energy, Six of Cups. And uh, at the foundation, it looks like you are trying to juggle some things or you're trying to weigh some choices about what you want on a long-term basis with the Two of Pentacles energy. In the past, you were trying to gain the answers that you needed with the Ace of Swords energy. Oh, wow. At the head of the matter, Gemini, Libra, Christ energy. You're using your intelligence to make this choice here. And in the near future, a lot of eyes are on here with the Six of Wands energy. A lot of people checking you out here. You can see you're at the center of attention here with the Six of Wands energy. And obviously because of this, you're gaining that clarity here. So there's a lot of eyes on you and you are gaining that clarity and you're really being noticed here with the Six of Wands energy. What's your influence? Hmm. Some of you, there could be some stuff going on at work here with the Emperor card energy or a boss, or there's a sense of wanting some kind of control Okay, maybe you're not even aware of this. There's some stuff happening at work here for some of you. It's influencing your romantic love life or even a boss here, okay? Uh, for some of you, what's influencing your romantic love life could be a fatherly figure because that's emperor card energy because we're talking about singles here. So it could be a fatherly energy. So let's see, before we look at the outcome here, okay, let us see what the advice is, okay. So the advice is Knight of Cups energy. Take an action towards love and romance. Make the romantic gesture, Knight of Cups energy. So if this resonates with you, take the action towards a romantic gesture. Uh, move, take an action towards love and romance. So you're gonna have to take action here towards love and romance. You may even have to do some kind of romantic gesture there with the Knight of Cups energy. So it looks like it looks like to me what's going to happen here. You're having a sense a sense of stress here. You're stressing about things. You're stressing about um, you know what's going on with your romantic love life because you're feeling like they're being left out in the cold or you're leaving someone on cold. So someone's stressing about you because they're being left out in the cold. And what is this? It's, there's a ex that's trying to reconcile. Judgment card energy. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, so you guys, you're, it looks like this person is stressing and worried because you're leaving them out in the cold pertaining to a reconciliation judgment card energy, which comes back to the blockage is something to do with the past energy. So that looks like the past for you is coming back in here. Um, Knight of Cups is saying you can make a romantic gesture or take an action towards love and romance. Let's clarify this. Let's see what this is about. Nines are about wishes fulfillment and five is about some kind of change or challenge when it comes to things being ruled in your favor, judgment card energy. Okay, so there's stress and anxiety about a sense of loss because of things are moving in your favor or ruled in your favor or a reconciliation or healing is happening here. All right, first of all, what's this nine of swords? Why is this nine of swords here? There's potential for long-term commitment. But there's since, there seems to be a sense of confusion because of wish and hope here with star card energy. What's this five of pentacles about? What is this five of pentacles about? What is this five of pentacles about? Doing some deep, heavy soul searching. So there's a person that's doing some deep, heavy soul searching and that's why there's a sense of loss or being left out in the cold. Here you go again. Somebody pertaining to the past, six of cups energy. And there's a lot of choices being weighed. It looks like you're weighing this choice. Like, should I reconcile? Should I not reconcile? Judgment card energy. Why is the judgment card here? Why is the judgment card here? Yep, confusion about whether or not you should reconcile because of marriage, long-term commitment, traditional values, and a sense of having to complete or accomplish this and making a choice. Okay, let's see why the advice is Knight of Cups. Why is Knight of Cups here for the advice? Show me cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to 
see. Something that has to be, it's charity, it's charitable, Six of Pentacles. Something needs to be balanced uh, so you can gain mental clarity. So being charitable so you can gain the clarity that you need and not feeling defensive or feeling like there's a test of faith and having your walls up. You need to defend your position when it comes to family and long-term commitment, Ten of Pentacles. So, uh, okay, so let's just talk about some of you guys. Some of you guys are dealing with an issue where this, this person from the past is returning and you're being influenced by possibly a fatherly figure or something to do with a lack of control with the Emperor card energy, okay? And um, if you are feeling this person, you need to defend your position and you need to take an, a romantic gesture here or take an action towards what, follow your heart here with the Knight of Cups energy, okay? All right, my darlings. I love you guys so much. If you like this, please like and subscribe. Uh, I'll be seeing you in the next few days so you can get more clarity on what's going on with this with the mid-monthlies, which will include love, as well as career and finance, as well as health and wellness. So guys, I'll see you in the next couple of days. Love you guys so much. Have a great couple of weeks. Thank you guys to my members. Love you guys and have a great rest of your couple weeks.